Okay, this is Andy again. Right now I'm going to show you on how to create static fragments. Uh, a static fragment is this fragment that is created when an activity is created automatically. You don't have to actually add it. You can just add it via XML files. Um, what we're going to do is first you have your main activity, which is the one that normally cre is created for you. Um, we're going to do nothing to it. We're going to still let, just set the content view of main. And then what we're going to do next is edit our main XML file. Uh, first thing we're going to do is change the orientation to horizontal. Because what I want to do is I want to set up three lists in a row. Um, so. By doing that, we're going to do three list fragments. So here's a fragment, here's a fragment, here's a fragment. And what I do is, for a static fragment, we're just going to um, change this to the package or the class name of the fragment that we want to load in that place. So right now, I created three fragments, which I'll show you in just a second what's in them. Um, so fragment one, fragment two, fragment three. You give them an ID. Uh, since we're what we want to do is we want three equal um, for lists we can change we could just do layout weight and so what I did is I have each one has a layout weight of one so that means since there's three parts each one is going to have a third of that if I wanted to change this to um, two what would what this means is that these two would be the same size, but this one would be twice as much. So it would actually divide it up into fourths. And this will be, the top one will be one fourth, one fourth, and then this one will take half the screen. Um, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to just make them equal uh, widths. So I'm going to save that, close it. Next, I'm going to show you what I did with each fragment. Each fragment is the list view. So it's just a list view, you give it an ID, and then to lay out with the match parent. That means that inside this fragment, it's going to take up the full height and full width. And I did that for the other two fragments as well, just gave it a different ID. Okay, so for the next thing, we're going to show you what each fragment has in it. Uh, I just created a random string, this one's of letters. Um, the next, uh, we need to say that on activity created. So when the application launches, we want to set a list adapter. So that's this right here. We're going to do a new array adapter, which is going to be of a string. Uh, normally, if you're dealing with an activity, you would just put this. But since a fragment isn't an activity itself, you would say get activity, which is say it's calling this main activity here what format of the list we want well we're not going to do a custom one we're just going to give the standard android list uh, so we're just going to do android dot r that layout dot simple list item and those are underscored and then um, we're going to define what we want inside the list so this is going to be letters then uh, right now i don't want to do anything when the item is selected so we can populate it just in case in the future we do, but it's going to do nothing. And then I did that for the other two, but I changed the string. So this one's of numbers. And then the last one is items. So item one, item two, item three. So when you launch it, which in the Android manifest, you don't have to do anything. This is all populated for you. You don't have to change anything because you only have one activity. We're just going to keep that main activity. So when you launch, we're going to pick the emulator. And there you go. You have a list. First one of letters, second one of numbers, and the third one of items. And when you select it, nothing happens because we didn't select anything to happen. OK, that's a nice brief tutorial. Um, on how to create static fragments. I don't personally like the black look. I like the holo light look. So if you wanted to see what that looks like real quick, you can just change this into right here in, in, the, in the manifest. You could do Android theme equals at Android, at Android style 
slash theme dot polo dot light close off the there. You save it and then you launch it again. It'll be light now. And I think this provides a much cleaner look. Okay, that's a nice quick tutorial. Um, I hope you understand it. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know.